California grown pumpkins that look, yep, just like Frankenstein. Just always looking for an edge. And with what he's named Pumpkinstein, farmer Tony Daguerre seems to have found it. Since March, he's been harvesting, turns out, ghoulish gold. Fielding calls from as far away as the United Arab Emirates. He's selling them for 75 bucks a pop wholesale. Some retailers are getting $125 each. And when I saw how detailed I could get it, I knew I had something. He grows the frightening fruit in a mold, a pretty simple concept, except it's been anything but. It's taken four years of trial and error and hundreds of thousands of dollars to find the right variety, the best way to grow it, a mold that would provide enough air and light. Dr. Frankenstein had nothing on Daguerre. If it's too large, you're, you're, you're condensing it. You're, you're forcing it to be too small and it won't ripen correctly. Obviously, if it's too small. California grown pumpkins that look, yep, just like Frankenstein. Just always looking for an edge. And with what he's named Pumpkinstein, farmer Tony Daguerre seems to have found it. Since March, he's been harvesting, turns out, ghoulish gold. Fielding calls from as far away as the United Arab Emirates. He's selling them for 75 bucks a pop wholesale. Some retailers are getting $125 each. And when I saw how detailed I could get it, I knew I had something. He grows the frightening fruit in a mold, a pretty simple concept, except it's been anything but. It's taken four years of trial and error and hundreds of thousands of dollars to find the right variety, the best way to grow it, a mold that would provide enough air and light. Dr. Frankenstein had nothing on Daguerre. If it's too large, you're, you're, you're condensing it. You're, you're forcing it to be too small and it won't ripen correctly. Obviously, if it's